Oh there my god, go. I was muted. Okay, hello. Well, hello. Don't, don't worry, you didn't miss anything. Yeah, I, I, you didn't miss. Anything. Uh, but you can probably guess uh, what I said, which was that commentary is a little bit different this week. I have an actual IRL co-commentator. Hello, Mad is in from out of town. Yeah. Um, there is a big tournament happening tomorrow in NorCal. The town Throwdown. I town Throwdown. Throw down town. One of those variations mm-hmm. of words. Uh, which which I guess I should plug right now. It's actually mm-hmm. homemade waffles. Uh, of course, saving melee again. He's putting on a big tournament in NorCal. It's going to be a monthly, but mm-hmm. for the first version of the monthly, he wanted to fly in a yes. bunch of kind of like top players from, yeah, from yeah. out of state yeah. just to make sure that people like know that it's like a lit event. So that's going to be a lot of fun. I hope people catch that tomorrow. Mm-hmm. But for today, we got Spark versus Fiction. Mm-hmm. What do you think about Sheik Falco and Spark um, Fiction? I'm pretty... Uh... I'm pretty much in agreement with with, uh, with Shep. I think uh, he, he's in the opinion that Falco wins, mm-hmm. which I know is somewhat controversial nowadays. Surprisingly, like or that's what most people say. Like, ah, it's like pretty hard for Sheik, but mm-hmm. um, or for Falco. Um, but I, from what I understand about the matchup, it, it, it's it makes sense for Falco to win it. Uh, he has he he is going to be the one that's forcing Sheik to do things. Sheik's going to have to dash tech. Sheik's going to have mm-hmm. to you know take laser forward till is going to be the one like trying to get in like you, like you'll kind of see Sheik like whenever they have to start dash attacking specifically like you know like there's like a lot of right. control in Falco's side. But even whenever she starts jumping, um, Falco has really strong options where he can his bear like basically beats all of her forward drift uh, aerials right and. Um, Whenever she does drifts in place, like full hops in place, um, Falco is this really nice position where he lasers her out of the air. Like the anti-air laser. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And um, so you get put into the spot where either she lands and she's put into the lag of like landing and or falling, then landing, then the four frames of lag, and then she can do something. Mm. And there's a lot of frame advantage to get from just that interaction. Yeah. And so a lot of time Falco can like laser her out of the air, let her land and land with the late aerial. So either you just get a free late down air, maybe you get shield pressure. Or she double jumps, and her double jumps take so long because like she's not a fastballer. Yeah, that, she like, never wants to be like above you. Like that's exactly. not the mix up she wants to be playing. Exactly, she wants to be like diagonally in front of you, mm, but she yes. doesn't want to be that high above. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. So you put in that spot, and like in your worst case scenario, if you time like if you jump in the wrong timing, at most you just like hold a shield against her, and she's above you. And, like what is she gonna do? About yeah, it? like it's not. But there's nothing too crazy that happens to you. So um, I think all of those specific interactions, like Sheik doesn't really force Falco to do anything unless she already has frame advantage. Like if she. Mm. Mm-hmm. a fair and it doesn't knock you down she has some frame advantage that maybe she can like do something like you know if if, if falco is like gets hit by fair and right. then it's like mashes shine right shine's gonna whiff you know she gets an opening from that but for the most part i, I feel like falco has a lot going for him mm-hmm. and she has a lot of reversal potential she can jump into downers and get grabs and get a tech chase like off that and she has like really good scuffle positions when they're yeah. like when the shine is just not quite there she can like you know she can be a menace i think and um at high percent yeah she she can just keep pressing the a button and like sometimes that'll just fucking do it yeah know, but sometimes that's literally all it takes yeah. and i mean it's funny because uh from the sheik's perspective like um there there's like i i still feel like there's kind of like this element of uh like who ultimately has to force the other one to do yeah. something like with sheik like for example a lot of time you can crouch under laser you can short up mm. over laser which is those are very convenient. Like, obviously, a lot of other matchups, yeah. you kind of have to take the lasers head on. Sheik gets mm-hmm. to kind of circumvent yeah. them. And, uh, you know, it's funny, as you were kind of spelling out this interaction where Sheik doesn't want to go that high above you, I was kind of thinking, well, what about wave landing on the platforms? Mm. But then, of course, and this is something I remember thinking about the other week, I was commentating some Sheik Falco set, and then, you know, Falco went to FD as their counterpick. Yeah. And at the time, I was like... Oh, that's interesting. Like, I know Falco's go here, but why do they go here? Like, why is mm. FD so good? And now we're talking about it. I'm like, oh, that makes total sense. Yeah, well, the you can't wave a lot on platforms. Lot, yeah. like, it's very, it is a lot different. Um, I, Platforms have always been an interesting thing, too, in the matchup, more mm-hmm. like in matchups in general, because Falco, like, can't shoot someone on the platform. Right. Um, But um, I think what's interesting about platforms is that a lot of time, uh, there's, like, this weird mini game that gets played where, uh, well, there's two different things. One, it's that platform the range of platforms is limited at, at the end of the day like mm-hmm. run off fair or like short hop off, short hop off fair are like the max thing you can threaten on the platform so there is specifically a zone on the stage mm-hmm. where you cannot get hit right like sometimes mm-hmm. it'll go it's like the, the most you can threaten is like you go on side platform your opponent goes to the safe zone and then right. you go on the top platform and now like the threat zone is like a little bit more pushed forward but now you're on the top platform and there's like this weird interaction but also something that's interesting is mm-hmm. like 
when your opponent is on the, pl the side platform, um, there's like this weird mini game that gets played where like if if Falco gets completely under you, then like that zone is like a lot less of an advantage. So you eventually need to come off the platform to prevent Falco from getting under there, but you're now off the platform. So if Falco successfully gets you off the platform, now we're back to the grounded game. So like, there's like also this weird way to like- And if Falco force. can catch you all coming off the platform with like, for example, if if he does the anti laser yeah. thing, if there's an up tilt waiting yeah, for yeah, you, yeah. short up back air. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting, and uh, just so people know what the deal is, there's no undercard today. Uh, a lot of preparation going into the big tournament tomorrow, so I didn't want to like have a really long schedule today. But uh, I got something lined up probably for next week. Um, so more interesting matches, especially if Spark wins. There's something weird that I want to do for him that I, I had this random idea, but maybe I'll subject fiction to it too next week, but we'll see. We'll see what ends up happening this week first. Uh, but we figured while waiting for spark. So for people um, just coming in, there's a big tournament in NorCal tomorrow that people like Magi are coming in from out of town. Spark actually got off his plane because his plane got delayed. He just got to pretty much the place that he's staying at like 20 minutes ago. So he's just getting situated. I actually, have fiction pretty much good to go. Still kind of waiting on Spark. That's kind of been a recurring theme uh, these past weeks for long time King of the Cube viewers. We've been kind of waiting on Spark, but you know, it, it's how it goes. Sometimes, you know, you got to set up your 16 audio channel Wasapi. Mm -hmm. It's this whole thing. I'm <laughs> sure it's super complicated. <laughs> In the meantime, let's get our good friend. Oh, Fiction's actually, I think he went to go get it. Right? <laughs> it is AFK. Okay, nice. But fortunately, wait, well, we can, we can, we can do the- uh, Oh, there he comes. Oh, there he is. Look at this. Yo, He's back. In the robe. Look, Always oh, decked man. out in the robe. He looks so sick. Okay, Fiction's back. Let's let's get him on the call while we're uh while we're waiting for Spark. Look who it is. It's Fiction. Let me unmute him too, because yeah, I think uh there you go. Hi, <laughs> What's up, dude? What's up, dude? Did you hear uh some of our analysis of you know our breakdown of the Falco Sheik? A little bit, yeah. I had to use the bathroom really quick. Got you. Here's my question to you: How much of how much of what Magi just said were ideas that came from you originally, or did you guys independently arrive I mean, at the I same conclusion? To <laughs> uh, I remember specifically you told me about back airing Sheik whenever she's trying to do like approaching aerials towards you, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, I stole the or the laser lasering Sheik out of the air and letting her land or double jumping is from Kalindi actually. Ah, uh, and I think I remember hammering in like, uh, don't so when your down air will knock Sheik down, you can't get a down air shine. You should always just back air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, never approaching laser. Sheik. Yeah, I forgot. About never that. approaching laser. Yeah. Or yeah. very rarely because mm. she has four so. Yeah, there's like there's oh, no incentive there to approaching laser. Like a lot of time, like she's not gonna be dashing back really. She like wave dashes back. Like you'll she see me do it every now and then, but that's just because I'm bad. Like. <laughs> Approaching laser. If there's a spot where you know that she's not going to press a button, like maybe like you just have enough frame advantage where it makes sense for her to not press a button, then it makes sense. But like, you just probably shouldn't a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like uh, I feel like it's 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 interesting because I feel like the way Spark plays, like even from knowing him from like a long time, like mm. when he was getting good, I was always kind of like, huh, he's way more platform focused than a lot of other uh -huh. sheiks, which like I always felt like was just sort of innately pretty good against Falco because it it's yeah. kind of how she wants to be playing in the first place anyway. Like It puts you at that right angle too. Or, or right, puts you at that right. spot usually uh, where she gets that above and like he, he, or she gets the beak. The beak. <laughs> yeah, the beak. The beak. The beak. That's yeah, a good... I feel like Sheik's platform camping is kind of like... I don't know. It's kind of like I don't know. There's there's a few things. It's kind of like wave dashes on like a box mm -hmm. <laughs> where like if somebody's like a day one player... The box max wave dash angle is like an insane wave dash. Because you're just like, holy moly, they hit this perfect wave dash every time. But then like, among good players, the wave dashes definitely doesn't feel like the crazy part of the controller, you know? Because it's, so, because it's like the effectiveness of it is like made larger at lower level. So like, I think if I'm playing like, Plop or spark or face roll or something the platform mm. is not a big deal for me interesting because, like i'm 
it feels like it mostly just delays kind of the inevitable in a lot of ways. Like, I do think yeah. it's strong for Sheik, mm -hmm. but I don't think it's, like, winning for her. Yeah, um, like, that, that's what I was kind of saying with... Um, it just seems like in order for her to really push the advantage of being on the platform, she does need to come down from it. And as soon as she comes down, uh -huh. then we reset the situation. Right. Yeah, like, I, I feel like the FD is rough for her just because she can't disengage, yeah. so Falco controls right. the pace heavily. But then on Battlefield, she can kind of disengage to, like, avoid that pace. But then, like, it doesn't give her, you know, a pacing advantage or anything. She yeah, still has right. to eventually fight Falco. So I, I do think the platforms make the matchup closer to even than it is on, let's say, like, FD or something. Yeah. But, like, the, the most annoying uses of the platforms is when I'm playing a Sheik who's, like, 500 times worse than me and i still have to play this long careful game against them yes, like yes, that yes, bothers yes. me and it's the same with mm -hmm. pretty much every character against falco like falcon or fox or other falcos when they just full hop and kind of camp on the platforms you're like well i mean i beat this but you're not really like i don't right. want you i don't want you to be worth the five minute game you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> so i think if platforms become extra annoying against people worse than right but against right. players you respect it's really not a big deal yeah and falco, interesting and falco platforms can't chic too like she can't do anything yeah. if he's on the side flat yeah that actually makes a lot of sense too. i always thought that was kind of interesting like you're uh I really liked your breakdown. This is what I realized you had to be an amazing Falco. Mm -hmm. uh, like, and that you would continue to like improve as a Falco was when you made that tweet about Falco controlling the ground and your opponent's platform camping you. Because mm -hmm. I was like, you know, from my perspective, a lot of Falcos just go on the platforms against me and then I just kind of have to do yeah. the thing where I wait for them to come down. And I was like, if you're feeling that, like that from the Falco's perspective, clearly you're doing something that none of the shitty Falcos on the unranked level are able to do with their lasers mm -hmm. because I never feel like I'm the one that has to deal with uh, the grounded game. I always feel like I get the ground and then they go on the platforms. And I was like, well, if you're doing that from the Falco's perspective, then mm -hmm. that, 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 that's closer to what I assume is the kind of the ideal for Falco yeah. anyway, especially in a matchup like Sheik. Mm -hmm. And you know, what's funny now that we're talking about it and Spark did just get back to me and he says he's almost ready. So Thanks. It's funny you, that we're, we're kind of talking about this, and you, in particular, you reminded me when you said delay the inevitable, because I don't know if you remember this, but a couple summits ago, when you were a Fox player, we were talking about the Fox-Puff matchup, and you described the Fox-Puff matchup to me in a way that I thought was very beautiful, and you said, you just shine the Puff once to knock them down, and then you zone them out with back air forever. And even if they go above you, they're just delaying the inevitable. <laughs> and I was yeah, like, huh, yeah. I guess so. Yeah. Shout out uh, to Drug Fox. Shout out to Drug Fox. That's right. That's right. Yeah, delaying the inevitable. I think is a, he's oh, like he's like he was just we like we discussed it a lot at Summit because he was my coach and he was kind of like, okay, so Puff is in the corner. Mm -hmm. How is she gonna get out? And I was like, that that is a question. Like normally I'm like, man, if I hit her in the corner, she just goes off stage again. And he's like, right, but like. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Correct. Like, then what? <laughs> yeah, you just, just keep going. Just, and it's really annoying for the puff to just you get shine and a shielded, and then you're like, haha, I escaped the combo, and then you're on the ledge, and you know, yeah, it just kind of gets annoying. I think people, yeah, I think people are like, oh man, it's it's frustrating to deal with the puff, or I don't know, whatever, whatever floaty character you're fighting. But you got to realize it's frustrating from their perspective too. Yeah, like, yeah. just getting walled out over and over and over and over is it, it, it's equally grating. And I, I do think that part of getting better at melee is like. These situations where there is the inevitable, mm -hmm. like yes. you have to not get bored and just force it. Like yeah. they're gonna run out of if it's puff jumps eventually, yeah, or yeah, if yeah. it's chic shielding on the platform, she's gonna her shield is gonna get smaller right. eventually. Right. She can't this, play this, that favorable mix up forever. This game just used to be way easier, and I think a lot of the complaining comes from pushback of mm. getting harder. Uh, because, like, I don't know, it's just, like, for so long, the game was, like, no matter how good somebody is, like, if you just kind of throw stuff out, you're going to hit them eventually. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like that. And I think, like, people got kind of used to it, and that was kind of the fun of the game for a lot of people. And then, you know, it becomes less fun when you can't, like, like a, there's, like, an effort threshold to get mm -hmm. anything. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. I think yeah. that's why people hate playing against my Falco sometimes too, is because it's like 
Oh, you want to hit like with Peach or something? Oh, that's great. Like it will take two minutes of like concerted effort to get this hit. And like that's just melee. But I think you know back in the day that wasn't melee. That wasn't so melee. I yeah. Think transitioning to the idea that like oh this is melee. There's a lot of stalemates. There's a lot of slow interactions that are still yeah. extremely like. A lot of the stalemate interactions are super precise anyway. It's like you're still yeah. playing the game. You yeah. just don't mm -hmm. get to jump in and hit people for a combo. Yeah. It's the same reason why, like, old school players sometimes have, like, complain about crouch cancel and stuff like that. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. Because yeah. they're just like, dude, I mean, before I didn't have to worry about which aerial I did at low percent. It was just an aerial. And now it's like if I do the wrong one, I die. It's like, and they're like, that's dumb because, you know, that's not the game that they grew up playing. Right. Mm -hmm. It's funny, uh, I should, you know, I really want to do like a YouTube video or something like just reacting to fiction tweets. Because um, I liked another tweet, tweet of yours that I really liked was the one where you were talking about like people who get a hit and they don't really know why they got the hit. So they're just like, well, I'm, I'm just, I just got that hit because I'm nasty. I'm just special. Yeah. Yeah. You, know what remind, you, know what, you know what that actually reminds me of? I had this interaction on the street the other day. And okay, it reminds me of like, you know when you're walking down the sidewalk and there's someone walking towards you and like there's this natural like timing where if you're not thinking about it, you'll both try to like go. You're like, oh, I'll go this way. Oh, oh and then you like switch you both and you're, you're like, oh, trying yeah. to get past the other person. It's awkward. Ah. I've realized that the average person, there's just a natural timing to those sorts of things. And if you don't put any thought into it, like that 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 that's why that happens is because your brain goes oh okay i should switch up my timing at this i should switch up which way i'm going to cross this person mm -hmm. up on the sidewalk at this time and if you just like naturally default to what feels normal uh take into account like normal it's like it's like beats in melee and if people it, it's kind of like i had this mm -hmm. weird idea that it's like kind of analogous to that we're like uh, a lot of people just stick to that exact same <coughs> rhythm mm -hmm. with regards to throwing things out or spot dodges or dashing yeah. back or what have you. Any like beat oriented thing in melee. No, I totally agree. No, yeah, that actually makes sense. Yeah, and I had this thought like walking down the street, like yeah. walking I, by someone. There, you can really sense a lot of. <laughs> yeah. I think decision making is the universal thing in almost everything, and I think that that's what drives those weird connections those weird beats yeah. and rhythms that exist in everything they're just decisions and yeah, if you ever played i mean I, there's there's a lot of players that i think are pretty good at this but like a, a classic example back in the day was cactuar where like people were like well he just stands still and it's like yeah but in standing still he just like kind of switches up the rhythm mm. and it just kind of throws people off there if you're if you're just flow charting to like i do my approach at this timing and it seems to catch the average person yeah. then like you just kind of get bopped by that right. and right. uh you're yeah, people, people, people get super yeah. accustomed to like da 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 there, you know. Yep, yeah, yeah. Da 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 there, there. Yeah, it's always fucking there. Max people, and then they just like 14 years later, they're like, I can't stop doing it. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh my god! And look who it is. It's oh my goodness. Spark. Spark. Can he? Hey, can he hear us? Final. Look at him. He's got a webcam. He's got a sick goatee. <laughs> um. Okay. I can't hear him. Play. Yeah, maybe we can play. Well, let me see if uh chat, you guys can see Spark. How do I talk to Spark? How do I get him to reply to my messages for the last half hour? <laughs> That's the question. I love that I can see him. I just hate that it's a four o'clock thing. And it's like I know, four dude. Five. Well, it used to be five, which was like kind of chill because like, you know, I don't know. I figure I want to do it at a time where people are done with work if they have work or whatever. Mm -hmm. But then I was like, damn, all the fucking net play tournaments start at five. That's East true. Coast Friday starts at eight, you know? Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, well, if I do it at four, then people can wrap up. But yeah. Yeah. In any now, case. My only thing is just like, if I wanted to do it at four because I was trying to get an outdoor workout before the sun mm. went down a little after five. But now, Fortunately, every single week, good. the sun stays out for a little longer, so... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Eventually, you know, we get to the summer and it's just bright until like eight thirty, and you're you're just good. But well, I'm searching for Spark, and he's not searching. Yeah. How do we get Spark to? He was just on his phone a second ago. Dude, why does it take so long to do everything? <laughs> I don't know. Get your get your opportunity to roast him while you still yes, can. He's gonna be able yes. to hear us in a second. Oh, he he searched for you. No, oh, let a, me do one thing general. while we're at it that I should just really do right now is uh, I'm gonna send you this lippy broadcast code oh, yeah, so I can yeah, actually yeah. get your gameplay. Okay. He's and hopefully, oh, he's, he's not in chat. saying anything. He's in he's chat. Doing. He's in Twitch hey, chat. No, I'm saying he's in he's in Discord. 
Discord. Oh, 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 oh. 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 He joined Discord. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's deafened. Hang on a minute. How do I? I'm going to. I don't think deafen, you can undeafen yeah. someone. You can only unmute someone. Oh, my God. You can't undeafen someone. I can server <laughs> deafen him. Whoa. Just add insult How to is it hanging? Oh. oh. Wow. Look who the cat dragged in. <laughs> the cat yeah, there's an insanely large inside <laughs> joke with Cat among my friend group, including Satan and Shep. So it's very funny oh. that Cat got brought up. I'm so All sorry right. to. All right, well, look, I'm I'm gonna send both of you my uh, my connect code for Slippy. Just it's just better if you both broadcast because. Uh, like more than once I've lost one person's broadcast so it's really good that I can just use the other one as a backup so yeah both of you guys can slip your broadcast to me listen Spark you know the deal Um, but yeah it's for for fiction since uh, you know this is your first week it is first to five and the the counterpick rules are you cannot counterpick the last stage that you counterpicked in one (laughs) that's that's it the last stage you counterpicked in one on any other stage is fair game the last stage you counterpick and one on. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna try really hard to not have to ask Chef what the score is this time. Spark, if you ever want, you can come in to the main uh general voice channel and you can ask me and Magi and we will yeah. tell you. Okay. With our All right, voices. I'm mute probably. I think we're good. Yeah, yeah we're you good. can mute. I'll even just drag you two into the other <laughs> voice chat so you guys can do stage striking and stuff. Um, and best of luck to the both of you. I will let you know when you're good to go, Thank just you. as soon as I can confirm that I can spectate your, your slippy. Thank you. Best of luck. Okay. So now with that being said, let me, um, let's do this real quick. And let me just make sure I can actually see them play. Kado. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know what? This isn't even Spark. This is actually our boy Macadocious, whose house he's staying at. That's fucking amazing. And Macadocious doesn't even play Marth. <laughs> Kadoran. Uh, chat, you guys are gonna see, uh, you guys are gonna see what we're talking that about in just a second. Face. Holy Kadoran. shit. That was, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's really funny. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, man. no, one second, one second. You'll see it as soon as we get the gameplay up. Bless up. That's right. That's what the kids are saying. Good mm-hmm. luck, my goat. Yeah, good luck. So Sparta, Shepherd Fiction. All right. We don't see names? What do you mean you don't see names? We don't see names. On the thing? Oh, on the slippy thing, probably. Oh, okay. Well, look, I'll just spell it out for you. Uh, Spark is playing on an account that is, that is C-U-H... Doran. <laughs> D-O-R-I-N. So it's oh. Ka-Doran. <laughs> very uh, Yeah, right. and it just came out of nowhere. And you gotta realize it's not even Spark. It's it's Macadocious whose house he's staying yeah, at. Yeah, yeah. Fun fact about Macadocious, people uh, used to say he looks a lot like me. Mm. You'll, I guess you'll see tomorrow, probably. Okay. Yeah. I'll confirm or deny. Oh, confirm or deny. Instantly. Oh. There's already been a, a lot of stalemates happening, as Shep was mm. saying. Like, Spark was on the side platform, and he was just like, no, I'm not gonna do this. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, mm. very. That's the uh, it's risky thing coming down from the top platform. You can get with punish. It's the same thing I said earlier. There's a very specific zone of threats that you have from a platform, and they just like stay outside the range of it. And it kind of goes both ways, right? Mm. Like yes. both yes. of these characters, you want to stay outside those threat range when they're yes. coming down from the platforms. Looks like Shep lost a little patience. Did a full hop near, basically for no reason. He just got fucking smacked through it. Is that just? You think that's just like? Uh oh, that is. Oh, good, great yeah. recovery though. Yeah, yeah. That is um, a bad feeling though. Yeah, um, so sometimes I, I think it's like when the match starts, it's like, oh yeah, right, 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 can't do that, can't do that. Or yeah. maybe it's like, feels like you're just like, oh yeah, I can, I can get away with it this time. It's like, nah. Right. Yeah, there's always this, I always have that, especially like, sometimes you're playing someone and you also kind of know that they're doing some bad things at the start, mm. and you're kind of like, which one of us is going to snap out of it first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. That was very interesting. There's the dash tag, right? Where it's like, is she risking a lot to get it? Yes. Like, mm-hmm. Falco wa- like feels good whenever she dash tags, but when it hits, like, it, it kind of sucks. Right. <laughs> All right, here's a stalemate. Yeah, some of Spark's, like, dash attacks have been, like, he's been catching Fiction out of the laser startup, like, especially coming off the platform. Mm-hmm. Yep. 
makes sense, right? Like on the whenever Puck comes out from the platform with the laser, there's a lot of area that he's actually not not covering. Yeah, right. It's like the laser is like a small thing, and it doesn't even get you like a big hit. It like you might be able to dash tech and dash tech oh. again sometimes. Oh, nice. Oof, jeez. He's so precise. It's really nice. And I wonder if yeah, looked like it looked like Fiction was. Well, I don't know. I guess it, it looked almost like he thought he might have a double jump, but obviously he wouldn't. So. Mm -hmm. There here. Right. Yeah, Spark does have really excellent needles. Yeah, yeah. And that's like an interesting thing about this matchup too. There's like that scuff I was talking about. Sheik's really good in those weird ties that happen. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, with needles, it's interesting because there's like a little bit of a triangle that gets formed with like the needle as like the um, the hypotenuse or whatever. And um, <laughs> and like a, <laughs> and a oh, zone, look at you. A little un, like under the hypotenuse is a zone where the, the needle can actually not cover anything, right? Um, and so if you successfully get past the hypotenuse, the needle doesn't do anything. So there's like this right. weird game of trying. It's like the platform where you're trying to get under the zone where she can actually thread. Right. The needle's get hitting inside the beak, it. so you want to get under where the beak, the, the beak will hit. Chad, are you guys hearing uh, this <laughs> hypotenuse-based, you know, geometry-based? <laughs> Coming off Ultimate Summit, I saw two smashers <laughs> fail to multiply 18 and 12. That that was uh, that was shocking. I, I will say that's shocking. All right. Yeah. Now we've got, now we've been matching <laughs> that the possible. Say date, so there's first, every everything's first time. Yeah. King of the Cube, a place of firsts. It's really, Ooh. truly revolutionary. Slightly oh! risky. Uh, yeah, okay, this is awkward. Oh my god, that was sick. Mm -hmm. nice, nice chase. Oh, nice. Uh, and you just grab ledge. Shep is really confident as edge guard in this matchup. Uh -huh. Oh, <laughs> he it. wanted to bait, but he wanted to bait Omsatek, right? That was kind of the yeah, idea there. Kind of the, the, interesting because he went Shinebacker. Shinebacker beats Omsatek. You can't. Oh, you just do, do it. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, right, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So I think the, I think he was just tech skill error basically. I don't think Got it was anything too fancy. I, there's definitely some like that up B right there. Like if you're fully like locked in presence of mind, like you don't need to like mash an up B out. But mm. that felt to me like yes, you, you a just little get, bit. There's like it, it's awkward enough where you're like, oh shit, I should I should like make sure that I survive. Mm -hmm. Like it's sometimes in your brain at the moment. It's like, I would be okay with this up feed not being necessary if it means that I survive right. for sure. For sure, because yeah. you're just out of there. Okay, game um, one going to Spark. I mean, I will say, like, some little... Uh, feels like mm. there's a little bit of... What's the word? Just... Um, he's not in control. He's not in control yet. Like yeah, a he's, little bit, he's getting... He's a little bit loose. Well, and, he said he was, like, you know, a little bit nervous. Yeah, he's yeah. Got if the, I was going to point out, it looks like he's... Um, Zade's getting out of the corner a lot by just, like, ledge dash roll... Like going up side platform, it's not you don't really feel like Sheik's locked, which is like kind of the goal in the matchup is like you make her feel really locked in place. And right. She like has to dash attack as her only escape. Nice counter. Feels like uh yeah, a lot of a lot some of some of Falco's matchups, like Falcon, another one yeah. that, that that really is like that. Yeah, look at this. Like you she shouldn't be able to do anything right now. Mm -hmm. And like this is this is what it should feel like all the time. Like, mm -hmm. she, like look at that. He fucking lasered her, she double jumps. Am I allowed to curse? You are so allowed okay. to curse. Yeah. Um she double jumped and then she, Falco was still in the advantage the whole time. Like, there has not been a moment where I feel like, damn, like, Sheik's really got Falco here. Like, right. This is what it should feel this like. Is, that's his goal. This is the, yeah, this yeah. was a good uh, a good demonstration of that. Yeah. What do you make of Fiction not going to the, the ledge right there, right? Uh, it, I'm sure, again, these are just small, like, it's the same thing with the up I think. It's like, oh, shit, I can't. I, mm -hmm. It's like, you're scared of getting hit by a double jump fair there. So you're like, you're just like, ah, like, I'll just I'll just stay on the stage. Like, what's the worst? Just don't chance do? it. Yeah. 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 Just, just stay safe. Like, look at that. He took Jab 7% there. and it was a fucking full minute of game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was really, really good. I don't even remember what the seven percent was. Yeah, it was like needles or something or like oh. there's like, and that's how it should feel too when she dash sex. Like, what are you like? What like what game are we playing? Right. Or it gets away with a show grab. Like that's that's about typical, right? Like that's like mm -hmm. again the scuffles. Like you might get a show grab or two, but oh, yeah, this is also that's like the awkward thing. Is like ah, she shouldn't be down airing there, but because Falco doesn't expect her down air, she gets the down air. Yeah, yeah, the down air is uh well that's the for, for these days apparently that's the Dreffen. Mm -hmm. right, that yes, should be yes, an yes, easy yes. edge guard. Uh, I, and I, I definitely have seen Treffin just rip it 20 times in a game, yeah, but yeah. yeah, it's it's not the greatest hitbox, obviously, and she doesn't have the greatest drift. Oh, boost. that was Take pretty good. Boost grab. Yeah, that was sick. Um, yeah. I think actually what was really interesting about what just happened when you lost that stock, I think what, what happened was exactly what Shep was describing when he talks about um, the inevitable, where it... Falco spent an entire minute taking 7% and killing Sheik after dropping like a million different ways to kill her. Right. And then Sheik got one opening and like 20 seconds killed Falco. And it's like, oh my god, this matchup is so hard for Falco because right. it happens so quick. But in reality, Ooh. it's just like, no, Falco is in control the whole time. He needs to stay on point the whole time. But right. if he does, like this matchup's fucking 
it's in your favor. It can be, yeah. yeah. It can just feel very... Right. And I definitely think this is one of the matchups that can look brutal one way or the other. Yes. That was a, actually a really good tech that uh, Fiction just hit, because that was kind of tricky. Mm. It was like pseudo tech trap. Whoa, there was a phantom jab there, I think. Yeah, it looks like he's also dropping a lot of like shine pressure on shield and also. Yeah, Zade's... he's been getting stuck in shine, but yeah. Zade is yeah, Zade is definitely dropping tech chases, mm. so I actually think both these guys are feeling the pressure. Yeah. What was interesting earlier, I wish I got the point out sooner, uh Sheik was coming down without a double jump, and Shep was trying to take advantage of her landing, but she was drifting backwards, so his approaching nair got beat by the fair. He got hit in the beat again. Mm -hmm. So like it just like it constantly just goes to show like a lot of the time it's all about main like he could have like had Sheik in control again if he had just not like approached at a time and that he wasn't gonna get hit in the beak or whatever and right. just like kept her in the corner again. Um, and it, that's what uh, I think that's what makes this matchup feel kind of bad for Falco is that you just have to be in so much control. You have to like really, really be stubborn about the inevitable. Mm -hmm. If you like ever stray away from that, you're gonna be playing a disadvantageous mix up, which is you know, and that's when she kills you really fast. And right. It feels really bad. It's like a, it's a very interesting like feedback loop. Right. Oof. Oh wow. Even covering uh, the the post wall jump there, that yeah. was really good. Yeah, fiction good. tying it up, and yeah, fiction. That's the kind of game that. Um, yeah, the whole whole game one fiction looked a little bit nervous. Mm. That's the kind of game that you, you're gonna see him start to play more, yeah. more and more comfortably. Right. Now I'm kind of worried because I'm looking at Spark. You know, Spark was kind of missing a lot of tech chases. He like, was missing get a, a lot grab. of tech chases. Like he got all, all, all of his grabs. He didn't like he got like a double up smash into a tech chase, but then like that dropped right. too. So like yeah. it, it's it's not feeling like with, with Sheik the way that you really like do like find your ways to like win in this matchup is by constantly being like Falco if you don't like if you don't play perfectly I'm gonna fucking kill you yeah, and yeah. then when Falco does do those small drops that Shep was doing then you know Falco's like oh shit I have to like play perfect and I can't right now right but right right looks like and, and the onus is really on Sheik I yes. might add if you're dropping your tech chases it can feel like even situations like there where yeah. like you know, Spark, you know, when he's on point, he just doesn't drop those and mm -hmm. he doesn't need to go for an up smash there. Yeah. Because it wasn't even ambiguous DI. Ooh, an SDI. Or an SDI specifically. The, like, Spark driving punishes is going to make Fiction emboldened. Yes. Uh, To, like, yeah, basically, like, he can take chances that he might even right. ordinarily not and, and put additional pressure on Spark. And not even necessarily having to take chances. He can just play the yeah, control yeah, 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 yeah. game. He's like, oh, cool, you dropped it? Sick, I'm back in control now. That's like, a good I'm, point. Yeah. That's a good point. There, there's oh. incentives both ways. Right. Um, I think specifically what's interesting, um, it kind of reminds me of how traditional fighters work with setups off knockdown versus when you have optimized combo damage. Yes. So like, as Sheik, there are situations where I think this is where people get into the debate of like, oh, maybe you don't, you drop the tech chase, but you take the advantage mix up. Like Mango does that a lot, for example. Oh, yeah, like yeah. he'll just do like a late nair instead of trying to do like a precise tech chase. Um, right. It's like, that's kind of the interesting thing with Sheik is that she sometimes just doesn't really have that choice. She doesn't have like really sick pressure off tech chases. She just mm -hmm. has like the tech chase itself. So I think why, that's why it feels like she has even more pressure to constantly hit her punish because yeah. otherwise she's like, it's like whenever you just end a, like an optimized combo in Marvel and like you don't have an actual hard knockdown off of it. Like it doesn't feel out. like you actually, right, right. It doesn't, it doesn't even feel worthwhile. Like you delayed the inevitable. I always felt this way about Sheik's tech chase versus say Falcons where like uh. you can succeed at like pretty much the top level with Falcon, uh. mostly just going off guesses because if you're right, they just explode it for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. And with Sheik, like you kind of just have to tech chase. Like yeah. the down, the up smash just isn't enough. Right. It just, the, you don't get like, there's not like an instant kill. There's like, no, like you right. have to like, you have to hope they kind of DI for you. Right. Like a little right. bit. Like there's obviously a lot of DI mixes, Oof. but she has inconvenient DI mixes. Inconvenient. I really like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Falco has like built in DI mix ups, but there's so many that it's hard to control. Right. Like Sheik right, right. has like, <laughs> you have to like really, like you remember the, the Music King versus PP combo where he does like the mm. soft back air at Evo? Um, yeah. And uh, that's like a, like if you're in that position, then you have a DI mix up, but a lot of time you're not going to be in that position. Right. Um, oh, Ooh. nice trick. Yeah. yeah, Spark, I think just kind of realizing that he didn't have too many outs there. Yeah, he he could have gone for an air dodge, but. Yeah, yeah. It's so hard to air dodge in that spot. It's interesting, yeah. like uh, Falco versus Sheik, uh, Shep told me a lot about how whenever she's in the air, just let her float and let her double jump and then go fucking kill her. Like, that's like your goal. So I think yeah. she kind of has like a similar thing. When she double jumps, like, eh, what is she gonna do about it? Like, you can right. just trade a lot of the time, especially that percent. Mm hmm mm hmm Ooh. Interesting. <laughs> Let's see, yeah, sometimes Spark just has to shield the corner yeah. for five yeah, seconds. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Shine and, uh, okay. kind of take, oh, the, oh, no the jump, jump came out. Oh, and that was a sick upbeat yes. refresh as well. Waiting for, oh, oh that's so good. Regular get up. Yeah, reset it again. 
Oh, that was a, that was tricky. He was like was waiting tricky. for a back air. Yeah, yeah, and that's why Spark was turned around. Like he needle turned around so that he could threaten back air. Mm. He's actually really, really good. Oh goodness, that was a sick roll actually. Oh, and I love that like control, not like going too ham on the shield, just doing shine wave dash back, waiting for an option. This is so awkward. I oh, know. Oh, footsies. When he <laughs> missed the, the wave, I know. When he missed the wave line, I was so nervous for him. Uh, I was like, oh my god, he's gonna die. He fucking tipped his nair with his nair. It was crazy. Yeah. All right. Shine wave. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah I that think was awkward. It's super awkward. Yeah, I kind of messed that up. Oh, that's a big. Yeah, this could be. Oh, do you? Uh, no, that's fine. I, yeah, I think he has that somewhat left. That looks fine. It's interesting because it feels like that downer was like, wait, it he's gonna get the first. Might have worked. Oh, yeah, yeah, it might have. He might have had double downer. I, I don't know. Oh, double downer. Uh, it was really it risky, close, right? Really yeah, 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 yeah. It was really close. Like, oh he wow. Might, oh that god. Was sick. That was sick. That was like, yeah, that was and knock a di from Spark. Dang. Okay, fiction. Actually, a, he was down that whole game. So yeah, I was about to say it's a little um, bit of a comeback. I was gonna bring up how in last talk, Sheik Falco. It's like kind of mm. interesting because like the whole idea with FD is like, man, like. If Falco just gets a whole minute to control the game, then he's like golden. But if Sheik gets 20 seconds, then it's like really rough. I think that's why last stock against Sheik feels so Sheik favorite uh, sometimes. It's yeah. like, man, like she just needs to like get me once and I'm dead. Whereas Falco has to take control the whole game. It's the thing Leffen used to complain about with Puff. Where yes. he's like, yeah, yeah, of course the Puffs keep quote unquote clutch, uh -huh. and clutch boxing because of yeah, all well, the yeah. Puffs I say. Hunger right. box. Because it's you just need one opening and yeah, then you yeah. die. And, and you know, but oh. then on the flip side, if they don't get that opening, uh, uh, yeah. You know who really, really... I've talked about this a couple times on commentary, but the person who really exposed me to this concept was actually Amso and his mm. coach Kaito. Mm. And they were talking about the Yoshi-Falcon oh, matchup. Dead. And they were like, yeah, the deal with the Yoshi-Falcon matchup, basically, it's like... I forgot the words they used in Japanese for but it's basically like... Um, I call it like nickel and diming versus uh, like your haymaker. Yes. And like Yoshi needs to hit a haymaker. Like yes. if he just plays an honest four stock to four stock game with Captain Falcon, Falcon just wins. Yes. But if Yoshi gets one solid stock, like offstage situation at 20 mm -hmm. into a gimp or an edge guard, yeah. a long edge guard, Yoshi can win. You mm -hmm. just need one stock, yeah. and that is enough to swing the math yeah. in your you favor. You need to assassinate him. <laughs> you need to, exactly, you yeah. need to assassinate him. Yeah, yeah. And it, I think it kind of works out this, this, like in the Sheik Falco matchup, it kind of works out that way. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Oh! That, by the way, is why I think. Okay, so most Sheiks, when they fully charge needles, hmm. you know how most Sheiks, they just want to throw them at you and yes, get their yes, 70 yes, damage? Yes, 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 yes. That. The reason those needles covered the shine stall was because he had a full stack of needles. Mm, right, right. He got um, rewarded for, ex for exactly. It's and like using it for the importance, like not doing an optimized combo for maximum damage. You do for like the hard knockdown. Right, kind right, of right. Oh my god. Oh, he's gonna live. And oh. Spark might die now. Now you did the combo. I did the thing. Yeah. It's yeah. so tempting. Yeah, right? it's so tempting. It was very. Melee is a nice, nice backer game. Nice Melee is a nice backer game. Just like how NASB is a nice downer game, Melee is a nice backer game. That's mm, just how it goes. <laughs> very You have no idea how many times I said yeah, nice yeah. downer when I was yeah, going to Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Remember that game? Yeah, I, um, I was so interested in that game. That game was very interesting. Well, you had nice neutral errors. I did have nice neutral Yeah, you were nice neutral errors, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, apparently that character got nerfed. I've, I've not touched that, but, um... Yeah. It's interesting. I think my response to that game would be nice, neutral, strong attack in the air. Yeah, like, yeah, You yeah. have to do that a lot yeah, to build. Yeah, you have to do that a lot. <laughs> you do. Spark right now. Oh! Spark That's did full jump downer, and I'm oh. not sure if he's seen it on purpose, but it's good. Oh man, that was such good space. Like you see that, like he gets behind the shield, and then he makes it to where if like Nairider shield is really obnoxious, but he mm -hmm. kind of does the reverse Sheik, where Sheik wants to be outside the range of the shine and get like a good opening off of like the little scuff scuffle that happens. Oh, nice. Little oh yeah, I guess he can't keep it going after that. Uh, down smash is kind of the last one. Yeah, last it takes one, right? Time. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah, especially the range. But uh, with um, what he was doing, he was up, he was behind the range of Sheik's Nair, and so Sheik, if she like, it was kind of the same thing where like if Falco presses a button and Sheik's outside the range, she gets the opening. But what Shep just did was kill him. Oh, oh my god! That is what Shep. <laughs> nice transition, by the way. Nice transition. Oh my god! Dang, uh, that came out of nowhere, huh? Yeah, that I was definitely in my own little world oh. there. I mean, no, it, it was, <laughs> dude. That hurts for Spark. Yeah, that sucks. Actually, both those Battlefield games, I feel like Spark was like up, and then yeah, yeah. I mean, that can happen.
Um, Sheik, definitely one of these characters. Sheik, Marth, characters like that. Like, if you get hit out of your double jump, you are You're dead, dead. You are dead. actually dead. You're and, super duper dead. But it's interesting because that was kind of the reversal that I talked about with last game with, like, the last stock. Mm-hmm. Falco is at hypercent, and now you know, like, well, Falco technically, in the beginning, we said that his matchup is kind of like, I'm going to keep Sheik out. Sheik yeah. can't hit me. Yeah. And so it was kind of that weird thing where Sheik was at 60%, or mm-hmm. actually kind of was that 20%. Yeah. And then Falco was like, well, all right, I guess I'm just going to play perfect real quick. And he <laughs> did. <laughs> yeah, and he just got a fucking destroyed him. So mm-hmm. that was um that was a really interesting representation where it's weird that Falco was at higher percent, but it yeah. felt like he was winning. But yeah. when they're both at low percent, it feels like Sheik's winning, even though that's that shouldn't be the case. Shouldn't very, be the case. It's very it's some weird feeling shit. Yes. Ha- have you seen that tweet about Daigo's like whatever? He was someone was like made a comic about like his weird sayings where it's like oh. or he it was like a comic of him saying like, you know, people say that when someone has a life lead that they're in the lead, but isn't that the opposite? And what he meant by that was that in Street Fighter V, you have higher V reversal if you're at lower health, so uh-huh. you, you may have more resources and therefore be an advantage. But it's funny because when you hear it that way, it's like when someone's in the lead, people say that they're in the lead, but I don't know if that's they're necessarily true. Not in it's the like, lead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I think it's a very similar, weird feeling of yeah. like, especially she she gets like maybe her openings are like a little bit unclean like yeah they, they don't just kill you in one hit it's kind of like an opening into a kill and- you know this comes up in a lot of fighting games in melee i'm thinking of matchups like fox puff where mm. a lot of the time you'll want to keep the puff at a certain percent where you can get your up throw up airs or um, whatever your confirms are versus oh oh no now i lasered them to 120 and i have yeah. to bear them to yeah, yeah. or in like i don't know a lot of other fighters like sometimes you'll save your meter to yes. where it's like i want to when i get my opening I want to. I want to be able to to get you into the life range where when I get my opening, I can kill you with a combo mm. and a super. So I'm not going to spend meter until that point, yeah. right? That makes sense. Yeah. Yep, yep, super yep, yep. super common idea. Okay. Oh yep. yep. <clears throat> I was so ready. I actually like totally thought Spark was going to go for like four tilt back air. Yeah. Yeah. Some yep. kind of yeah. yeah. I, I was thinking of holding away in that spot, and it makes sense. Like that's like one of those like, convenient spots where Sheik does have like a small DI mix up. Mm-hmm. But um, a lot of time it makes sense to like hold up, like you know, the. Doing the fair raw is is step one, and step yeah. two is the forward tilt. So sometimes right. you just have to like, uh, damn. All right, this is one of those games. I, you know what's weird? I felt like this happened last game. I thought this was. The I position. feel like this yeah. did kind of yeah. happen last game. Like, I think yeah. that's why in my head I was like so like, oh okay, like I'm gonna let my guard down. Oh nice. Mm-hmm. Man, Sheik top. gets forward smashed a lot in that spot. Sheik's tech rolls are so goddamn slow. It's ridiculous. Uh huh. Here's your mix. There's the. Ooh. Oh. Oh, nice that catch. was scary. Yeah. Yeah. And he he showed needles. That was that was really really good. He showed needles to. I don't know if that was like part of the deal, mm. but I definitely think if I'm the spacey there and I see a, a, a sheep jumping in that spot and doing a needle charge, you're gonna stay. I'm gonna stay in my my shine stall. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah. Yeah, that, actually, that was I, I see what you're talking about. Yeah yeah. That that was like a that was tricky. Mm-hmm. It, it's also just like the, the weird timings with those like assassinate type of situations where yeah. like, oh man, like I, I just need to like not be wrong about my double jump and then like she Yeah. Uh, it's a, there's a lot of pressure. I yeah, this matchup is so kinda it's it's really cool for me to watch because like a long time ago I was a actually a Fox Falco dual main. Mm. Um back in like 2010, 2011. And I actually played a ton of this matchup in Japan back then yeah. and there were a lot of good cheese. Uh, and then, you know, more recently I actually play a lot of Sheik, so now I play the matchup a lot from the other side. Yes. Um, and yeah, I think that whole concept of, like, the assassin versus whatever you want to call it. Mm, the control free. The control, awesome. yeah. Definitely, it's definitely, uh, you, you kind of see it. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. Getting stuck in the shine, but yeah, Spark Super, you know, you just want to get out at that yeah, point. Yeah, Because you don't know if they're going to mess up. And the, the yeah, problem yeah. is, if you try to react to them, like, yeah. in that spot, usually they can do something else. Better. Right, right. If someone misses their shine, but they react on time, they can do another shine in that spot. So, right. like, you're just kind of gambling on them to hide. Mm-hmm. It, it's, it's like that interesting situation where both people hold shield in front of each other, and you have to play that, that small game of, like, I'm, I don't think I can just react in this spot and shield grab because I'm pretty sure they're going to react at the same right. time as me. By the exact time right. that, yeah, right. I, I will have input yeah. something. Right, right. So They'll so, be beating me out. Yeah. So a lot of time in that spot. Better to just concede and let it happen. Right. Ooh, Sheb was definitely... That was like another one of those interesting spots where Sheik was in the corner. She dash attacked out, but Falco also like attacked at the same time. Mm-hmm. It's like a... Oh. It, it's an interesting balance of being the person in control. You need to also take advantage of them holding shield and not like moving forward by like approaching them. So there's like this weird 
constant push and pull of like laser approach versus laser dash back so that yeah. you either keep control or you want to take advantage of them not like approaching. You mean like laser instant approach? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Would you say that's more, you remember we were talking about how laser instant approach kind of, it kind of fell by the wayside a little bit like against Fox. Mm. Because, okay, I feel like nobody nobody ever laser instant approaches me yeah. anymore. Because I, I I literally go for take laser up till it, it hasn't worked. And yeah. Oh, oh, that's yeah, good. Nice. That, was, that, was, that was really good. Do you feel like it's more prevalent in some matchups versus others? Like, say, Sheik. Um, I don't know. Or does that even... You no, know, yeah. I, I, it's, I would have to, like... I would have to sit with it for a second. But mm -hmm. basically, it's just like a matter... Like, if the matchup has a lot more... Um, it's funny. I can think of one matchup where that happens a lot. Is Link versus... Or Falco versus Link. Uh, oh. He has no, like, Link doesn't really have, like, a really fast response. A lot of time you can get away with laser instant down. Right, right, and, and right. It's, it's all about the matchups where your opponent has an option that... Oh! oh yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, he did whatever. get him. Nice needle. Nice, or nice, <laughs> nice chain, whatever. Um, yeah. It's the matchups where they have a reasonable response to you doing laser instant approach. If they don't... Right. Or if they don't have a big reward off of it, like, you know, let's say... Um, I don't know. It's just the characters that you generally don't have good, like, out of shield options. They mm -hmm. don't have, like, a good button to press. Like, Sheik has really, really good buttons, so you don't do laser approach very, yeah. like, super often. You usually let her press a button first. But um, it also depends on the situation and the percent. So, like, at higher percents, when Falco's at low percent against Marth, you may want to, like, laser instant approach him, cat like, just to catch him jumping out the corner. Right. And then, like, he super dies, right? Versus when you're at high percent, you don't really want to risk that. Like, Fal but... At the same time, Marth also has really weird kill options in that position, so it's just like a it's like a little hard to describe. Um, <laughs> I just realized that in these moments, like between games, where they're they're doing this, so I can I can actually tell you. Oh exactly wait, I think going. they're asking you a question. Actually, yeah, I think about it. Uh, okay, uh, I think that's didn't I win on BF? I, that is okay. Shep is winning if he can go FD. Um, I picked FD one, then he went BF, and I won. Can I go back to no, FD is the last stage you CP'd and won on, so you cannot go to FD yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They ever they had a question about the rules. I like smart calling me Mr. Toth though. That's nice. I mm. think more people should call me that. <laughs> Zade literally cannot follow rules like within the first five attempts, but as soon as he gets it, he's got it. <laughs> <laughs> um okay we've we have uh we've broken it down for the gang um you got it mr yeah, Tope. yeah thank you thank you freddy bones all right anyway i'm, thank gonna, you, bones. I'm gonna try to do a little more play more close bleh, close attention to the specific interactions going on because i'm curious that what the, was what the hell is going on that was yeah. a weird like come down from top platform and needle situation yeah which is um, honestly very it's it's, it's funny because it's kind of like it's Functionally extremely similar to come off the platform and laser. Yes. Uh, low key, it's like a little better because it directly causes the crash. And always. it's also like, there's like multiple needles. It's like a weird, <laughs> going back to the hypotenuse, yeah. the hypotenuse is yes. like in front of your face. It's like a shotgun more than it is a hypotenuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it usually if I you 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 really what one of the first things I learned um about oh, this yeah. matchup uh was like if she especially if she has charged needles, but if she's on the platforms, yeah, you wanna Either get up, yeah, like you said, either get into that triangle yeah. or just stay the away from it. Yeah, exactly. So, for exactly. example, if she's on the side platforms, she's threatening center stage. Yes. So, either back off or get under it. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. I feel like this set, um, I've seen a lot of, like, Shep, like, whenever he's on the side platform or whenever Zay's on the side platform, he, like, does, he's pretty willing to just, like, instantly go dash up and get under it. It's a. Uh, been interesting i've also i still kind of noticed that it feels like a lot of these uh, interactions have been like zade in the corner and like shep it's either zade or i mean i guess which is just how the matchup literally goes but like mm -hmm. you know shep's either keeping them very successful that was a really weird full hop nair soft hit into grab i think he actually like grabbed falco out of the like out of his jab or something too because it looked like mm -hmm. an extended grab that oh. was very strange Oh my uh, god, that was nuts. Dang, that covered a lot of options because Spark actually was able to do fast fall forward air uh. to cover tech in place and mistech and then still have time to up tilt the tech roll in. So that sequence coming off the top platform, I've never thought about it, it covers every option except tech roll away. And even then, Sheik might have time to short off forward air the tech roll away. Yeah. Which yeah. is insane because then you're just getting a guaranteed forward air. It is kind of funny. If you go really fast, you yeah, cover yeah, yeah. so much. If you go really, that's actually kind of a thing with characters like Shinya. Nice. If you go really fast, you cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 
Which, oh, what a forward tilt. That was really weird. That was like one of those like weird off didn't posture it, situations. Where yeah, didn't it look like Falco's downer might just super win? Yeah, it was... It, it was one of those situations where we've already accepted one aspect of the matchup, so it's really weird that something happened within it's like, wait, we already, like, we have, like, we have a reason why this was weird, but we don't know exactly what because we just haven't seen it very often. <laughs> Fiction, by the way, Shine just uh, shield oh, drop there slow. between the up tilt hits on the first up tilt, which is, like, I've, I've always found it incredibly hard to do. Um, mm. Mostly for the re mostly for the reason that by the time you've reacted to the up tilt, uh, like it's too late. Uh, so I, I actually think he might have been like so sort of anticipating the up tilt, which is yeah, that makes sense. Obviously, really smart, but that's like a Yoshi specific thing. Mm. Like, cause up tilt's not gonna connect on the other. Well, right, FOD right. it will, but not battlefield. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that was pretty cool. Oof, okay. Second shine. Got really good scrambling from Spark here. Oh, oh my God, crouch grab. Oh, that was so. I, that was a weird, like, <laughs> he did the jabs because it makes sense that where Sheik shouldn't have been able to do anything. And then she air dodged and it's like, oh, fuck, I, I actually didn't have a plan for the air dodge. Right. <laughs> didn't, like, the situation felt solved. Oh, nice. Get out of here. Yeah. Ooh, oh, let's dash. Oh, oh and it drops it. Is. Okay. Oh, oh, my God. Insane composure. I was about to say, there was a weird spot right there where Sh Falco was in the corner and Sheik was in center. And it was like the, well... Sheik is not in frame disadvantage from the first laser yet, mm -hmm. so it's actually really, really difficult for Sheik to, or for Falco to get back in control because Sheik has a faster jump squat, Sheik has faster movement, Sheik has faster buttons, like right. grounded buttons, so Falco was actually not in any control, and Shep recognized it and held shield because he was like, oh, wait a second, no, I'm not in control, but Sheik might press here, and that was like, he, what he's looking for is like, hold shield roll, right. and he just like literally got super rewarded for just knowing to yeah. not press his luck. I, you know, I was I was really impressed by that because I was like, how did I was like, fix, how did you Jedi mind control Spar to just dash tackle across yeah. the stage there? Or, but literally, it was because Sheik was in frame advantage, right? And so, so Falco shooting a laser is him t like he's not that's not his turn yet. Mm -hmm. Like Falco needs to very harshly make sure he's like lasering on his turn because if he doesn't, she almost every character in the game can hit him before the laser comes out. Right, right, so right. So that was a perfect recognition of like, nope, Sheik is gonna be pressing a button here, mm -hmm. and I'm not gonna be. Uh, I'm not going to be vulnerable to that. Right. Um, also, big advantage, he gets to counter pick FD in his next counter pick yes. if, he, if it goes to that. Because he won the, yeah, because that was now the last counter pick he won on uh, was Yoshi's. Yeah. Yeah. And it's also 4 3, so uh, he's in a really good spot. He either he's wins the set spot. or he gets it. Right. Um, that being said, nice. I did not pay attention to how he got that, but damn. <laughs> Yeah, and Spark did uh, really cleanly follow up. He got him to the exact percent where he could rise and turn up forward. Oh, that's so awkward. It's double jab in that spot so interesting too because the first jab, even if they crouch it or block it, the mm -hmm. second or it tends to have, like knock them off the stage. So the second hit will like it'll, it'll be an aerial hit. It'll yes, be the good yes, hit. Yes, yeah, yes. not a crouched hit. Go for it again. Ooh. That's a tricky one. That was a weird one. That was an extremely weird situation. Oh, Ooh. that was also really tricky. Wow. Yeah, Sheiks do love going for that. Mm -hmm. um, that straight down poof. Yeah. And you... It, you can't, like, react to, like, oh, they're going down, I guess I'll... So you kind of have to, like, know that they've... It's kind of like covering a short one. Yes, yes, Like, yes, they yes, have to yes. go into a specific spot to go for it, so yes, you got to yes. see them go into that spot and be uh, ready to play the next Right. Up. Or, yeah. like, when, when spaces are, like, directly horizontal to the, to yep. the ledge, and they're like, oh, like, like there's only one time they get to do this. Like, they're probably going to do it. Probably doing... Some, yeah. But, you know, but that's the mix. It's, it's right. a mix. Exa exactly. Spark being really respectful of Fiction's... Uh, like, sometimes Fiction's even doing some kind of, like, quote-unquote unsafe things on shield. Yeah. But, you know, you can see that Spark is oh. kind of giving him the time of day. Like, I would rather just roll back and not, right. not right. hold it up. Right, all. exactly. exactly. Ooh. And he's been getting, like, honestly, that, I was about to say, like, it feels like the, one of the main reasons why Shep doesn't feel in control is because he, Zade keeps getting out. He, like, he keeps rolling a lot. He keeps just, like, escaping. Right. Um, and, like, Shep's been doing a lot of, like you said, like, he's been doing, like, oh. not unsafe, like, or maybe not unsafe, like, slightly committal, like, oh, wow. That Spark just killed that. Did, I guess Spark was looking for an air dodge. Or, yeah, only... he was, like, looking for air dodge, or maybe he was anticipating Shep going to ledge. To the ledge, yeah. yeah. There was, like, a, there was, like, a small gamble there. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Oh, that was, oh, God, we're just pressing Whoa. the A button. Oh, yeah, a lot. yeah, yes, we are. <laughs> yes, we are. D-Smash uh, from Fiction, probably a mistake. Like, usually, yeah. you just, like, flub your dare input. 
But I also love this for Shep right now. Like he was on, or Shep was, or Zade was on top platform, mm. and he knew the spot. He he knew that he couldn't run away because Falco's dash really slow. So he's been holding shield a lot in the past like 10 seconds. And yeah. like every time Shep or Zade pressed the button, it seemed like he was completely fine. Which again is what he's kind of aiming for. He wants to make it as stalemate as possible. He doesn't want to like right. at all take any risk with these scuffles that have like mostly been in Sheep's favor just because like how the matchup goes. Yeah, that was sick. Yeah, that was that was really nice. Yeah, Fiction really, uh, really good at playing that that uh, like ledge mix up. Mm. Where, I mean, even on that last edge guard where Spark drifted into the range of the bear, like he felt like he needed to do that. Uh. And okay, Spark with the tiniest little lead here. Oh, he he actually okay. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. I thought he lost his needles. I thought he got laser. Oh out. yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. he didn't. Oh, that was oh, so. Oh oh, 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 okay, whatever. That was very interesting. Um, yeah, that was okay. That was one of the coolest interactions I've seen. I wish it, it like was more relevant, but he lasered him out of the air and then fast fell to get under him immediately, and then Zade fast fell, and they were both right next to each other, and that's mm -hmm. what caused that weird situation. Usually, what happens is either she presses a button early, and then Falco gets a whip punish, or she double jumps. Mm -hmm. But they both fast fell, and neither of them committed, so there was like a really, really weird post situation that happened instead. Really, right. really cool. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was uh, Oh, it gives him an air. Oh, and that's gonna dead. be it. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Dang. Dude, right. game nine. Game nine FD. This he is it, for all the marbles. Whew. One um, of the most balanced sets we've had, actually, on King yeah. of the Cube. Very rare that these have gone to. I think the, the last one to do so, I think, was I don't know if we've ever had a game nine. Dang. Yeah, I can't. Okay. I can't think of this is kind of right. Well, but this is this is a really big advantage. But having a small thing is that it's been a while since they played FT. There's been a lot of interactions that have happened, mm. and he might be in a little bit of a rhythm to like yeah, maybe I'll approach a lot more. Maybe I'll like I'll forget that like I have all this control. Fair. Yeah. And, like I don't think Shep is someone to forget that, but. After nine games of melee, it's mm -hmm. very easy to get lost in some sort of like, you know, you're in a, like a fight. Like your fight or flight's activated literally, so your yeah. brain is just like, it's, your um, brain saving space. It's long and it's it's a long set, right? Long yeah. sets are definitely a different dynamic. Most people, most I mean, you you just don't really play them right, usually. Right. Like tournaments, you don't play long you sets. Have to, so. You literally have to like go out of your way to play first. Whoa. To five. This has oh. already been really weird. If you've noticed, Shep has done a lot more approaching lasers, a lot more approaching things in general. Mm -hmm, Whereas that mm -hmm. first game, like we talked about, how the first FG game. he was. Yeah, he he literally. Uh, it looked like Spark didn't have a chance to breathe for yeah. um, kind of the first stop. He was just shooting yeah. the corner a lot. But like even there, like he did like instant double jump or instant double laser into instant approach, and it's like ah, like you know, all this is really proactive and like. Mm -hmm. you, Falco can play this game, but it's very, very, very precise. Yes. Like, you have to play basically completely perfect, whereas with, like... Hey, thanks for the raid. What was that, Opsa? Thank you, Opsa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> see, I turned on my sub alerts, but not my raid alerts. I see, hey, good I timing, see. though. It's game nine. I see. Oh, God. Oh, he was late on the up smash. God, and this is really awkward for for, uh, for for Falco now because it's that opposite situation that we saw in the Battlefield game where Sheik's at high percent yes. and Falco is trying to get this last hit and it's hard for him to get a very, very clean hit and Sheik gets so much off of her small opening that like yeah. it's just like that rush. Like you just want this game to feel like you're at even stocks and like it's really hard to get there. Right. Like even these like these high aerials, like you know, Shep kind of oh jeez. Man uh, sparks. That's your last foe. Yeah. And you know that's funny because that's like kind of an FD specific mix yeah, up. Right. Okay, no jump. Got to really, really want to kill her. Yes. There it is. That was also really, really. Oh. Cool. He did a shine stall earlier that actually made a huge difference. Shine mm. stalling when you don't have a double jump in the like when you're like above a character on FD is like a very small tool that Spacey's have in that spot, and uh, it just it's like enough of a rhythm delay because you have to shine and you can't jump out of it. So right. it's like a pause, and if your opponent's not really ready for it, it's it's actually quite. Hard. Remember when Mango uh, did the oh uppy uppy stall? Oh, yes, I, on, it's kind of like that. Genesis right? four, yeah, loses quarters. Game it's five, so game good. Four, it's so good. Oh my god. Oh my god, that actually and matters that, a lot. Yeah. And that matters oh, a lot. Too. That matters a lot. <laughs> that does matter a lot. But yeah, well, two stocks apiece. Actually, did Sheik even? Oh, Sheik did get her charge. Ooh, that's the thing I talked about in the very beginning Bro. of the set. If if Sheik hits you with a soft tip and you mash shine, she's outside the range of it. So she actually, you have to be really careful to like not lose your cool whenever you get hit by a small hit. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, he goes uh, for instant. Oh, uh, yeah. Tilt. I think he died away too. All yeah, right. The jump might even come out and Sheik's spark. Need. It's hard to play the control game when you're down like this. Yeah. You, yeah. you feel so much more desperate, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, a uh, little bit late on the button. Actually, might have pressed just, the button during. Shep just like z-axis the four tilt. Crouch cancel. Oh, oh no. that was probably a laser. No, not like this. Uh, oh, nine. spark baby, the wake up shine. He's on layer eight of his yeah. big oh, galaxy god. brain thing. No oh, god, that was so risky. You oh. can't wave dash out the third hit. It's or you can, but it's awkward. Okay. What are you? Okay. <laughs> that was genius. That's just a read. Oh my god, that was a sick read. All right, let's talk. <gasps> oh, this is gonna be. Right, oh. It's so scary oh, though. You're, you're alive. You're alive. You're alive. It's okay. It's, it's okay. okay. It's fine. All right. Let go of the tension. Oh my god, he's playing this mix up and it, it's, oh. it is scaring me. He's going oh. under the floor there. Oh. That, oh. No. Nice. Oh. oh, Jesus. And the tension releases. Oh, oh Jesus fucking Christ. I was, I was worried sick that whole time. <laughs> yeah. He was really he was running under the forder like yeah. a like a like a I don't know. Like some guy who's totally okay being under the forder. What's poppin'? What's uh, poppin', Spark? How you doing? Uh, Chillin', you know me. A scary. A scary cat. Yeah, uh <laughs> hang on a minute. Let me um let me get your uh one second here. One second here, one second here, one second here. Uh. Hang on. Jeez, Christ. Which one's you? I was about to say, um, it's funny, the only the thing I just uh, remembered oh, when it was too late. This is not related to you, Zayth, I'm sorry. Uh, but Shep was down, the shielding uh, downward, and then he tilted it mid, and I was like, oh my god, he did it. But that was like, that was way too long ago. Uh -huh, anyway, uh -huh. congrats, Zayd. Thank you. Um, <laughs> ask, uh, I feel like, I, I, I want to ask about, you know, we were talking a lot about kind of... Um, I don't know, the flow of neutral from like the Falco's perspective, things mm. to look for. Um I I feel like we spent a little bit less time talking about well, obviously we have Magi who's a Falco. Yeah, specialist, I, I but... just don't know the chic perspective. So I was just like I, I was talking a lot about how um it seems like Sheik feels the most comfortable whenever she has like a really nice, oh yeah, a really right. nice comfortable spot like right next to Falco, but outside the range of the shine. So like if he ever like presses the shine button, then he gets grabbed or like blown up or whatever. Um, and I was also talking about how you escaped the corner a lot, and I don't know how to convert this into a question, but do you agree? I guess <laughs> my mindset was. Obnoxiously and at weird timing. <laughs> mm, yes, yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. It's just like yes, you get a jail free card if they don't like very consciously cover that. So yes, yes, yes. Um, because I, I think there was like the first FD game that happened earlier in the set. There was like this kind of this feeling that damn, like when Falco hits everything and like kind of keeps Sheik like in the little box that he has control over. Mm. It's like it feels really difficult for Sheik, but it seemed like over time, like you kind of broke free from that a lot. Like you're able to like sneak in a lot. You were able to take advantage whenever Falco was at frame disadvantage, and you're able to like dash attack his laser startup and stuff. Um, and so, well, yeah. like, was there anything that you felt like kind of changed throughout the set, or did you kind of feel like that game plan stuck the whole time? Um, it might be a little silly, but I do feel like I feel like uh, doing more proactive things where I can't react uh, felt better. So I told myself like it's okay to, you know me, like I usually just try to like look for an opening, stay safe, yes. but. I think like with Chef's amazing wall of defense, it's like, yes. okay, it's okay to take gambles that are good risk reward and just be proactive and don't look at the screen yes. because yes. then you yes. can yes. move fast. So I like dash attack because I was like, if he, if he does a laser here, I'm just going to dash attack without even seeing the laser and if I'm right then. Right, I exactly. The, yeah. I, 100%. I feel like specifically Sheik Falco is is a matchup where Falco or Sheik literally has to dash attack specifically because mm -hmm. if you don't, then Falco gets to sit at that perfect range and just like stay there the whole time. So um, there's like the a laser height gamble. Like, like if it's uh, too low, then it beats dash attack and yes. crowd and all that. But if it's too, but then I can short hop over it. Yes. But if it's too high, then I can dash attack. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. yes. There's this also this thing I was kind of wondering, like some of the recovery situations while well, where you were recovering, and like. It feels like when I watch Fiction in particular, and I've also played him a little bit. Uh, I actually ran him on Unranked with my Sheik, so we played some Sheik Falco. And I realized, like, his timing that he grabs the ledge is, like, a lot later than a lot of other Falcos. Like, he really, like, stands on the ledge and, like, will kind of grab it at the last second. And some of your interactions look kind of, like, almost like 
like they looped the whole way around the Yomi wheel or whatever. Where like uh, there's yeah. that one where you just yeah, full yeah, drifted yeah. it. Like you know he was on Dreamland and you like full drifted into the stage and he bared you and I was like that looked kind of silly. Like because yeah, like yeah, yeah. if you didn't know the context, it's like why yes. does Spark just hold all the way right. in and then Fiction just stood on the stage and bared him? That looked stupid. But like, like, like Jeff's sort of doing so away with the old rinse repeat regular get up edge guard. He'd mm, rather yes. do aerials yes. or like just stay and be invincible at the moment the poof happens and then just ledge dash on instead. And mm-hmm. Chef is the only one I think like 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 really going far with that. And so I think Sheik's and myself included need to like catch up. <laughs> right. Have you thought about? Did you spend much time thinking about that before this set, or was that like a? adapting to that edge guard that he was doing was that more like you actually just kind of thought of solutions uh, it was on, it had to be on it was on the fly i watched ace roll versus chef but uh, i didn't pay too much attention to how chef was edge guarding griffin mm-hmm. um i do remember now that i'm actually thinking about it i played chef in grand finals of a local right after smash world tour in florida mm-hmm. and uh he did do those edge guards. i just completely forgot about them yeah so, uh, I to, like, it's, shit, I didn't it's also so, yeah, it's it's one of those things where you probably put thought into it, and then the set happens like, oh yeah, I remember all of those times I thought yeah, about that. Yeah, it's, yeah. The- it's like, oh, this thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This was, uh, dude, Spark, congratulations. Um, I don't want to super duper keep you. I know you guys just got settled in. Uh, say yeah. hi to Violence for me, who I know you're housing with. Yeah. And uh, dude, I, listen, Spark, I want to do something. Are you, are you just, are you comfortable? Like, are you going to be settled in next week when we do King of the Cube? You're going to be good? Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, I've got a I've got a very special uh custom King of the Cube challenge lined up for you next week. Mm. Oh shit. I don't know, should I spoil it for you now and all the people in the chat? Uh it's up to you, man. I don't know. I, I, I want to hear, I want to I wanna hear. Wanna I hear want it. I'm going to try to get the run back of your Foxes versus Rishi's cast. Oh. Okay. I want to see if the Corgi is ready. We're going to get our first repeat. Awesome. I'm yes. so sad. Dude, dude. <laughs> those are like destroyed two of my foxes. It's, it's a, <laughs> I need to hit the, hit the lab. I'll be back. Yeah. It's not going to be the main match. There, you're like, I'm going to let you obviously play your Sheik too, mm. but uh, if you're down, if you're down for a little bit of a spark extravaganza because you've been the king for a couple weeks now, uh, <laughs> I might throw some some bonus prize money your way and uh, try to make that happen. That'd be cool. Okay. Awesome. Uh, best of luck at the turn tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Spark. Thank see you. you there. See ya. You know me. Oh yeah. Next, oh wait, next week is Smash Camp. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Well, oh. next free week. Next, next week, week that yeah, yeah, yeah. isn't a major. Yeah, that's the whole thing with King of the Cube is if there's a major, all bets are off. It just doesn't happen. Remember that chat. Don't show up next Friday expecting okay. expecting a, a set because uh, we're gonna take a week off. If there's ever a major. Don't show up Friday of Genesis and be like, where's my first to five? <laughs> you know, anyway. All right, see you, Spark. Bye-bye. Bye.